the female protagonist is selfish and self-interested, slightly forced to marry and plunder, and slightly marry Sue. Wong has traveled through time today. Shidi exploded to the beginning. As a capitalist lady, she is a scumbag who sacrifices her entire family to heaven, a sweet and bitter stepmother, a malicious stepsister, and a white-eyed wolf younger brother. Faced with these, Wang Jin Jin, who had a very unstable mental state in his previous life, chose to continue going crazy and retaliating against everyone equally. Shit dad wants a promotion, right, okay. 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 Stepmother, stepsister wants to hold on to this young lady, right, great. And the malicious and selfish younger brother wants to quickly welcome the new family, right, not bad, not bad. Wang Jin Jin's precise strike. Take all the medicine and spend the rest of your life in bed loving each other. After retaliation, Wang Jin Jin waved her hand and did not take away a cloud, and went to Hong Kong with the wealthy system to fight for her wealthy career. Note. This article is fictional, please do not delve into anything that does not match reality in the text for the sake of the plot. The three perspectives of the characters in the text do not represent the author's three perspectives. Chapter 1 Fat Lady Wang Jinjin's Revenge You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the winter of 1968 Sha Ching Ah! It hurts so much. Wang woke up from touching his head and walked to the mirror to look at the wound on his forehead. The blood on his forehead had already solidified. I hope I won't leave any scars. Sooner or later, I will deal with Wang Quan Quan to avenge my head injury. Thinking of her memories from her previous life, she felt uncomfortable. She had finally struggled to the stage of buying a house, but her eyes closed and she went back half a century. What should she do if she is worried about the wound on her head? Outside came Gu Hongxia's shouts. Dead girl movie, where are you? Where did you die? I don't know you're going to my house to do our laundry. Sooner or later, we'll sell you out. Gu Hongxia pushed open the door and didn't care if there was anyone inside, so she shouted towards the inside. This sound can even flip the roof. But Wang Jin Jin is not the previous submissive Wang Jin Jin, now she is Nuhulu Jin Jin who awakens the memories of her past life. Wang is currently experiencing an evil fire that has nowhere to go. As someone happens to bump into her, she is not polite. She grabbed Gu Hongxia's head and slammed it against the wall, banging a few times, causing Gu Hongxia to feel dizzy and her brain to swell. While pulling her with his hand, he shouted for her to let go. At this moment, Gu Qingqing, the daughter of Gu Hongxia, heard a voice and ran in. She saw that the woman who was usually bullied by her dared to bully her biological mother, so she rolled up her sleeves and put them on. Wang Jin Jin was really trying to vent his anger. He grabbed Gu Hongxia's hair in his hand and kicked his leg into Gu Qingqing's stomach. Gu Qingqing's momentum was too strong, and both of them took a step back. Gu Qingqing even fell to the ground. Taking advantage of her falling to the ground, Wang Jinjin picked up his tattered cloth bag containing books and smashed it into Gu Hongxia's hand. She rushed out while smashing, and when she saw something, she couldn't bear it anymore. Having worked as a free nanny in the Wang family for so many years, Wang now wants to go crazy. I had enough hardship in my previous life, but I didn't expect it to be even harder in this life. While smashing and shouting, you don't want me to live, do you? I can't live, and if I don't live well, you don't want to live peacefully. If it weren't for your mother and daughter's instigation, my father wouldn't have wanted me to marry that fool, nor would he have wanted me to go to the countryside on behalf of Gu Qingqing. Yes. It's just you two, Wang said to the mother and daughter who were trembling and huddled inside Wang ran into the kitchen today. When have the trembling mother and daughter experienced such a thing? Although they usually curse, they have never tried to do so. They both hide behind the scenes and give advice to those in front of them to clean up. Gu Qingqing trembled and asked his mother, Mom, has Wang calmed down now? Gu Hongxia was also beaten up and felt pain all over her body, 
but she had experienced many things. She endured the pain and comforted her daughter, it should be. She stopped speaking halfway through, and Gu Qingqing wanted to ask, but as soon as she opened her mouth, she saw her mother trembling and pulling her back. Gu Qingqing turned around and looked at Wang Jinjin, who rushed in with a kitchen knife, looking dumbfounded. She. She. Is she going to kill someone? Wang Jinjin walked over to them with a smile and a knife. Both mother and daughter were scared to death by her. Wang Jinjin is now like a madman, with red eyes, blood on his forehead, and blood flowing down his face. Wang Jin tilted her head, her expression innocent and cute. She opened her watery apricot eyes and asked, Why is Aunt Gu running? Don't you like me? But I just like to play with Aunt Gu. Ching Ching, don't be afraid. I really like you. When your mother and my father get married, you will be my sister. Would you be like me, the little nanny of the family? When you get old, get married and exchange some dowry money for my younger brother to come back. As if thinking of something happy, Wang Jin laughed heartily today. Gu Qingqing stopped when he heard that he wanted her to be a nanny and get married to exchange dowry. He also forgot that the crazy Wang is still holding a kitchen knife. Uncle Wang wouldn't do this. He said he would sign you up for going to the countryside and then call you back to marry Director Lu's foolish son. Gu Qingqing's face was filled with mockery and satire, which immediately stimulated Wang Jinjin. With crimson eyes, she picked up a kitchen knife and attacked the Gu family's mother and daughter. The Gu family's mother and daughter screamed in fear, and the neighbor next to them must have heard them. They probably will come over soon. Wang Jinjin heard the sound, withdrew the kitchen knife, and watched them wet their pants in fear. Don't talk nonsense, you know. If you talk nonsense, I'll report your affair with Director Lu. Gu Hongxia widened her eyes in fear, how did she know? Gu Qingqing also looked at Gu Hongxia in shock, Mom. How did you get together with Director Lu? Gu Hongxia hesitated and dared not look at her daughter. Wang didn't have time to deal with the affairs of the Gu family's mother and daughter today. He estimated that his neighbor was about to arrive. He stuffed his kitchen knife into his cotton jacket, found a roll of money ticket from the Gu family's mother and daughter, stuffed it into his pocket, scratched his hair, and rushed out. Seeing Grandma Su calling for someone to rush home, Wang Jinjin, who rushed out, stopped her and said, What's wrong with your house today? How could I hear Aunt Ge's screams? Grandma Su, a hibernating snake has entered my house, which scared Aunt Gu and her daughter who came to visit. They were both injured, and I planned to call my dad. Wang Jin's body was still trembling, obviously afraid. I also saw the snake run out, I don't know whose house it went to. Why don't you go home and take a look? Grandma Su heard that there might have been snakes in her house, so she quickly left and said, then you go quickly. I also told my old man to go home and take a look. The group of aunties who followed Grandma Su quickly called the man home to see if there were any snakes, as biting someone would not be good. Wang swaggered away today and walked into the park. The cold wind in the southern winter park made people feel cold all over. She sat slumped in the chair, her expression numb. Sweating coldly all over, feeling the familiar pain in the joints of the limbs, and the stomach that was so hungry that it was throbbing, thinking about what to do next. Now is a dead end. Her body has been burdened with years of heavy household chores and suffering from hunger. Her body is now riddled with wounds, and even if she can live for a few years, she is still living in pain. Why not kill all her enemies while she can still move now? She's not living well, no one wants to live. If only there were a spiritual spring space or system, then her body could be improved. But when I think about it, I think it's impossible. If it had existed long ago, let's think about how to kill Wang Jiangwo and the others before we talk. It would be convenient to poison, but the poison has a strong odor and is easy to detect. Ding dong, we have discovered a host. Do you want to bind with the invincible 001 adult in the universe? 
Upon hearing the sound, the king's expression remained unchanged and numb. It's okay to have a system to talk to her now. Chapter 2 Preparation Before Going to the Port City You are listening at NovelFull.audio 001 What Do You Do? I am a great literary talent system that cultivates literary talents. As long as the host learns writing skills and knowledge in the system, and publishes works in real life and enjoys them, the host can earn points and faith points. Points can be used to buy things in the mall, how about it? Does the host want to bind with me? I will take you to the pinnacle of life. Wang Jin is now withered. In her previous life, she relied on high scores in mathematics to get into prestigious schools. She has always been poor at Chinese language, and even made her a literary magnate. Are you joking? But the system, in this environment, how do you ask me to publish works? Now that everyone is in danger, I dare not publish articles, nor can I learn literature. You should go find someone else, I don't want to live anymore. This is not possible, she is the most compatible host for the soul and it. Future host, you can develop in a different place. As far as I know, Port City is a good choice. If your writing skills are not good, you can learn slowly, and you can also use your consciousness to talk to me. Wang Jin Jin remained unmoved. She felt like she had lived enough and didn't want to live anymore. After killing Wang Jiangwo and the others, she committed suicide and completely left this world. Besides, can the system kindly teach her skills and benefit her? There is no such thing as Pi falling from the sky, and in the end, she may suffer even more. 001 felt the distrust in Wang Jinjin's heart, and it began to be introduced by Balabara, causing her to cry bitterly in her mind. Finally, she also told her that it is a legitimate system and will not engage in activities where dark-hearted systems devour souls and steal energy. If there is any violation, Wang can still report it today. Wang Jin finally felt relieved after listening to 001's words. There is a mechanism for upward reaction, so it seems that this system may really be a legitimate one. She doesn't want to stay here anymore, this city is full of bad memories. She wants to live in a different environment. But nowadays, introduction letters are everywhere. It's not the time in later generations when one cannot stay in one place and can still live in other cities. She wants to stay on the mainland and stay away from the Wang family, away from the Sand City. Either find a soldier who can accompany the army in Mary, or go to the countryside. But now her identity is awkward. She comes from a capitalist background, and soldiers who can meet the conditions to join the army will not be involved with her unless they have great ambitions. She chose to go to the countryside without even thinking about it. She wants to live a good life and doesn't want to work in the countryside, living a life of eating without stopping. She has had enough of the hardships in her past life and the first decade of this life. From now on, she will enjoy and live a life where she can eat meat every day. The man who drinks the strongest wine and sleeps the wildest. And now only Port City can provide her with such a life. Who wants to die if they can live with dignity? After figuring it out, she perked up and asked 001, if I were to bind you, would there be a new person gift package? 001 saw the host let go and quickly replied, Some, some. Do you want to bind it now? Bind it, starting binding, 10%. 54%. 68%. 92%. Successfully bound. A interface popped up, and a white dumpling popped up in front of Wang Jin Jin, floating up and down. Host, let's start drawing new people's gift packages now. Wang Jin Jin looked at the turntable in front of him, which read, Start Lottery, with lucky bags on top and three lottery opportunities written below. Wang Jin Jin raised his hand a bit and the pointer turned to a lucky bag. The bag was empty when opened. It's okay, keep working hard. Wang will continue to point now, and the second one will be three invisibility symbols. Wang Jin Jin watched them fly automatically towards the system backpack. Click on it for the third time, 
finally. The tide of adversity has come. Wang now has a space of 10 square meters. Although she can only hold dead objects, there are also restrictions on the number of times and time to enter the space every day, but she is very satisfied. With this space, it is convenient for her to collect funds that have fled to the port city. The place where the Wang family hides gold and silver treasures is now known by Wang himself, as long as the gold and silver treasures are loaded into the space before leaving. Wang Jinjin thought of his tattered physical condition and called up the page of the mall, browsing the information on it. There are things to eat, medicines that can cure her body, and some poisons that can be bought above. Looking at the prices above, there are restrictions on prices ranging from one point to tens of billions. Wang Jinjin flipped to the interface of the elixir and found that the wash marrow pill and waste pill are suitable for her now. Looking at the price on it. Now that Wang has been curled up in agony, why don't we first ask if it's possible to borrow some money from the system to save her life? The deceitful system advanced her payment for the medicine, and now Wang has a fragrant pill in his hand. Just by smelling the smell, she felt a slight relief from the clamoring stomach pain. Without hesitation, she opened her mouth and swallowed the medicine. As soon as she swallowed it, she felt a warm current flowing through her body. She had never felt so comfortable in seventeen years. After a brief moment of comfort, there was overwhelming pain. Wang Jinjin endured the pain and stood up, stumbling towards a dead corner and entering the space. As soon as he entered the space, Wang Jin collapsed, screaming in pain and rolling on the ground, feeling as if a century had passed and he had finally survived. Smelling the foul odor emanating from his body, Wang now has a headache and how to get out. Host, 001 can provide hot water for washing. Then hurry up and arrange. Can you help me buy some non-fragrant toiletries and wash my clothes? Don't worry, I will repay you 10% of the extra points according to the loan. 001 is now being fooled by Wang Jinjin's painting of a big cake and unable to find the north. Upon hearing this, he hastily arranges. Wang Jinjin looked at the bathtub that appeared in the space, took off his clothes first, and poured water on his body. Then I went in to scrub. The first time, the bath gel didn't scrub out foam. The second time, I changed the water to scrub out a little foam. I washed it three times before it was ready. Waiting to tidy up himself and put on the clothes that were washed and dried in 001, Wang Jin is now completely refreshed. Feel her teeth, even her teeth have improved, her wisdom teeth are gone. Her original teeth were not very good, but now she is blessed with the wash marrow pill and has a good mouth of teeth. Even the skin is fair and delicate, and even the swelling from hunger has subsided. Wang Jin Jin looked at her fair skin and asked 001 to buy her some more things. She now has more lice without itching and more debts without worrying. I wolfed down the meat buns I bought at a state-owned restaurant with the money of the Gu family and daughter, and now Wang's stomach is finally comfortable. After finishing the meal, quickly go home and tidy up the room, so as not to let Wang Jiangwo get angry and suspect her when he comes back. Now she still needs to pretend to be usually submissive. So, Wang now lives the days of bullying and bullying the Gu family and daughter every day, attending classes on the system plus finding opportunities to escape. Chapter 3 Running to the Port City Overnight You are listening at NovelFull.audio In front of the gate of the Supply and Marketing Cooperative, there was a bustling crowd, filled with people queuing up to hear that the cooperative had new goods coming today. Have you heard that? That group of people are stealing from home again. A chubby lady in the queue whispered to the lady in front of her wearing a blue cotton factory uniform. Who copied it from? The workwear lady quickly turned her head and asked curiously. My message is very clear. I copied my home last night. My son dot in dot law is from that area. I heard it's from principal he's home at city number one middle school. You forgot that principal he came back from studying abroad. The chubby lady had a look of pride on her face. 
The chubby lady was about to speak when she felt someone looking towards her and turned her head to observe around. But at this moment, someone suddenly shouted from the crowd, The door is open, the door is open. Don't squeeze, don't squeeze, I haven't entered yet. The chubby lady didn't care about anything else and rushed all the people in line towards the door. In the alley next to the supply and marketing agency, Wang Jinjin wearing a white shirt, military green pants and two fried dough twists braids was relieved after the fat woman entered the supply and marketing agency. Wang Jinjin screamed in his heart and took the opportunity to find an excuse to collect wool. 001, your intelligence is incorrect. I spent 10 points in vain. Why didn't you say that the lady who doesn't have much interaction with the Gu family is so sensitive? I almost exposed it. Host, calm down. Let's finish this task first. After you receive the introduction letter, I promise to reward you with Zhang Lucky Talisman. The system detected that Wang Jin was going to have a lion speak up today and answered first. Wang agreed disappointedly after hearing this. I thought I could extract the protective cover from that mall. After all, although there are not many private rooms in the system, there are still some. Who would have thought that the 001 system would become smarter? Through spending the past two weeks with Wang Jinjin, 001 has gained a thorough understanding of Wang Jinjin's urinary habits. He is really a financial maniac who will kill him if he catches an opportunity. If it doesn't immediately offer compensation, in the end, it will have to follow her conditions. That would result in even more losses. I can't unbind with the host before the task is completed, I'm really blind. How do you think that she and I are compatible, and that she has a hot head and is bound to her petty behavior? It's really difficult to unify life. The system was bound after Wang Jinjin restored his memory. According to the self-introduction of the system, the Wenhao system bound by Wang Jinjin improves the host's writing ability through training, and then the host publishes works. The reader's love for the work will be transformed into a belief value, and a person's love is a belief value. The belief value of the host and system is divided into seven and three parts, with seven hosts and three systems. The system is powered by belief values. After the host completes the phased tasks in the writer training course, the system will also reward the host with a certain amount of points. One faith value can be exchanged for 100 points, but points cannot be exchanged for faith value. In no time, the chubby lady came out with a piece of craft paper wrapped around her face, full of spring breeze. After seeing the chubby lady walking towards the direction of the South Steel Factory family courtyard, Wang Jinjin turned around and entered an empty alley. Into the alley, Wang Jinjin disappeared, and soon a person with the same appearance and dress as the fat lady came out of the alley. Wang Jinjin confirmed the information while walking, 001, is Zhao Pozi still on the street in the black market? Host, Zhao Pozi is still here. She is currently negotiating with the chicken seller. She won't buy any more, she's leaving. Host, hurry up. The system is anxiously urging. If the host fails, I don't know if there is still a chance to go to the port city. Can my universe's largest literary giant system still cultivate a great literary giant to stand up to the crowd? Wang Jinjin, who was completely unaware of the fragmented thoughts about the system, quickly turned around and headed to another street after wrapping himself tightly with a scarf. On both sides of this street, there are people dressed in rags and tightly packed stalls. There are cloth sellers, meat sellers, and chicken and duck sellers on the stall. There are also those who sell bicycles and radios. There are all kinds of goods available here that are scarce outside. The chubby lady didn't care about these things. She paid close attention to an old lady who came to buy things, followed her out of the street, pretended to step on a stone, and accidentally bumped into her. Oh my, who doesn't have long eyes and dares to bump into me? Do you know who Zhao Pozi is? The chubby lady looked at her and fell heavily, her eyes hanging. I still know who you are. Let me tell you who I am first. 
Do you know who my son dot in dot law is? The chubby woman looked up at the woman who had been knocked down by her, and her arrogant and domineering expression immediately changed, instantly squeezing out a flower. Oh my, I'm really sorry. Don't worry, Sister Zhao. The flood has washed into the Dragon King Temple, and the whole family doesn't know each other anymore. I'm your son's subordinate, Xiao Qian, and his mother dot in dot law. We met at Xiao Qian's doorstep a few days ago, Zhao Pazi was puzzled. This old slut wouldn't want to make friends with me and deliberately bump into me, would she? I want to establish a friendship with Mrs. Zhao and see how I can mislead you. Oh my, we're discussing the wedding date now. It's just a matter of time to call me mother in law, isn't it? The chubby old lady saw Zhao Pozi's distrust and unkindness and quickly explained. I finally had this excellent opportunity to prescribe medicine, but I can't miss it. Can I seek revenge? I just got a letter of introduction and took the train to escape to the port city. This is a piece of red cloth that I just snatched from the supply and marketing cooperative. I'm offering flowers to offer as compensation to you, what do you think? Fat Auntie smiled obsequiously. Zhao Posey took the things and was domineering. Slant your eyes at the red cloth. This little thing is not enough. My son is the director of the Revolutionary Committee, so you should weigh it carefully. Sister Zhao, please come up with a solution. It's the end of the month and my family doesn't have much money left. I hope you can give me a thumbs up, said the chubby lady anxiously, okay, okay. Just give me two chickens. Zhao Posey harshly thought to herself, what's Lu Dahua doing when she's free to stew chicken? She's so greedy for my little grandson. Just now, she couldn't bear to buy that rural chicken, so the chicken came voluntarily. When I turn around, I have to let my son give you a profound lesson. Sister Zhao, I can't even take out two, said the chubby woman with a painful expression on her face, Zhao Posey's face immediately pulled down upon hearing this. The chubby lady quickly approached and whispered, I happen to have an old hen that my daughter dot in dot law just brought back from the countryside at home, weighing four and a half pounds. The chubby lady observed Zhao Posey's face and gritted her teeth, do you think I can give you another half pound of white rice? I'll go back and get it right away. You'll wait for me here Zhao Posey nodded reluctantly as she couldn't squeeze anything out anymore. The chubby lady quickly ran away. Zhao Posey waited in place for a while, feeling a murmur in her heart. This old slut must have run away, right? Humph, if she runs away, I'll ask Xiao Qian where her house is. Just as Mrs. Zhao became impatient, the chubby lady arrived late carrying a basket. Zhao Posey looked left and right to see if there were anyone else, and immediately grabbed the basket and lifted the rag covering it. I weighed the chicken and rice in my hand, and a satisfied expression appeared on my face. Arrogantly waving her hand at the chubby lady, she turned around and left. Wang Jin Jin watched as Zhao Posey turned a corner before leaving. Chapter 4 Arriving at the Port City You are listening at Novel Full Audio. After returning home, it was already noon and there was still no one around. Wang Jin instructed the system while scooping water and cooking. 001 You monitor the situation of the Gu family in real time. After Zhao Posey gave them, my father, and my brother some seasoned chicken, please let me know. Okay, host. After the system finished speaking, it went offline. After Wang had a good meal today, he began to search for the money hidden by his scumbag father Wang Jiangwo in the master bedroom. After all, time is tight. She is going to rob the Gu family tonight, which is the treasure of the scumbag father's boss and future father. In law's family. Then I will get a letter of introduction from Gu Fu's study to buy a train ticket. Fortunately, Father Gu has a habit of leaving some stamped introduction letters at home. Tonight has passed, and now the sky is high, allowing birds to fly, and the sea is wide, allowing fish to leap. With these thoughts in mind, Wang Jinjin's resentment towards capitalist ladies from the 21st century to the 1960s has also decreased slightly. 
Wang Jin went straight to the head of the bed in the master bedroom, holding a needle and inserting it into an inconspicuous small hole at the head of the bed. With a snap, a box that perfectly matched the head of the bed popped out. Wang Jin Jin took out a box and put twenty small yellow croakers, a set of jade jewelry, and a thirty thousand yuan passbook into the system space. Carefully pushed the box back to its original position. The system space is a prize in her newcomer gift package. Although it is only 10 square meters, the sparrow is small and has all five internal organs. The space comes with storage function, as well as a one meter wide bed and bedding. Although she can only enter the space once a day and stay there for two hours, Wang Jinjin is still very satisfied with her space. In addition to space, there are only three invisibility symbols in the newcomer gift package. Although the number of benefits for newcomers is relatively small, the quality is still far ahead, much better than the system's claim that non-chieftains who have received empty packages are the main ones. Wang Jinjin is very satisfied. After putting it away, Wang Jinjin went to the study again and according to her memory, she came to a book on the bookshelf. Gently rotate one corner of the book, and the bookshelf slowly moves away. Exposed a basement. The Wang family, who values men over women, wouldn't tell Wang Jinjin the location of their treasure trove. The treasure trove in this study was accidentally discovered by Wang Jinjin before he regained his memory. Wang Jinjin took out the candle placed in the space and lit it. After waiting for the air to circulate in the basement, Wang Jinjin walked down with a candle. I opened the wooden box closest to the stairs. Rao was mentally prepared, but Wang Jinjin was still somewhat surprised, followed by ecstasy. I saw that the wooden box was full of gold bars. Wang Jinjin controlled her excited heart and trembling hands, and opened all the other dozen or so boxes. At the end of the journey, Wang has become numb now. Wang finally packed all the things in the box into the space, leaving an empty box. I'm really curious about Wang Jianglo's expression when he found out that the gold and silver treasures in the box were lost. At that time, the expression on his face must be very exciting. Wang hummed a song and left the basement today. After leaving the basement, Wang Jinjin found the mechanism to restore the position of the bookshelf and prepared to leave. Just as Wang Jinjin walked to the door of the study, the voice of Wang Jianglo speaking came from outside the door. Xiao Quan, I have already taken a good leave for you. You can change into clothes later and I will go to your Aunt Ji's house for dinner tonight, Wang Quan Quan is great, Dad. Are you going to marry Aunt Gu? I'm sure De Zhuang won't dare to laugh at me in the future, Wang Jianglo's face also showed a relaxed smile, showing off slightly to his son, yes, as long as you marry Aunt Gu, the composition of our family will not be a problem. Her family is thriving. Not only can I get closer, but the people in the alley won't laugh at us anymore. Although Wang Jiangwo may be so amiable to his son, he is a typical chauvinist and has a completely different attitude towards his daughter. The Wang family was very famous in Shacheng before the founding of the country. Our ancestors have been engaged in the silk business for over 300 years, and it has been passed down by our family. Wang Jiangwo is the only son of the Wang family, so he wants the stars not to be favored by the moon. Queen Mother Lu Pingping passed away during difficult childbirth while giving birth to Wang Quan Quan. If it weren't for the heartache of the Wang family for their grandson and their pressure not to let Wang Jiangwo remarry. Wang Jiangwo has been continuing his string for a long time. After several years of pressure, I couldn't hold it anymore. Chaos has arrived and the royal milk of the Wang family has been offered to the heavens by the only son Wang Jiangwo, who is favored by many. Wang Jiangwo had no hope of promotion, so he took credit for his parents and even took the lead in criticizing his elderly parents, demonstrating his determination and loyalty. Then he quickly hooked up with his superior's daughter Gu Hongxia, who had divorced and had a daughter who was still unable to conceive. The Wang family's milk couldn't withstand the blow and within two days of being criticized, she couldn't hold on and committed suicide. Both the Wang family's mistresses and Wang's parents prioritize sons over daughters, 
and Wang is now a free nanny in the Wang family. If it weren't for the sake of face, Wang might not be able to go to school today. Not to mention that Wang Jiangwo has already planned to give her to the foolish son led by Wang Jiangwo as his wife. Wang is definitely going to run away today. Wang cannot accept marrying a fool today. However, despite working or finding someone to marry or go to the countryside, she still couldn't get rid of Wang Jiangwo and the others. After restoring his memory, Wang Jin never thought about getting entangled with the Wang family again. The Wang family is so wealthy, but they are so harsh on her, and she doesn't want to be the scapegoat anymore. She can't stand the oppressive environment of nearly ten years, so she has to be careful when speaking. So she can only choose to compete with the system and go to the port city to fight for her new life. The cheers of Wang Quan Quan reached Wang Jinjin's ears. It's really unlucky. It's not good to come back when. Unfortunately, he will come back at this time. The duration of entering the space was also used up today, so I can only spend points to buy services from the system. Fortunately, I have been attending classes and completing tasks for a whole day since binding, earning some points. Not many points, just 500 points. During the conversation between Wang Jiangwo and her son, Wang Jinjin quickly spent her points to have the system set up a silent cover for the study. To prevent the sound of opening the basement from leaking out for Wang Jiangwo to hear. Then Wang Jinjin quickly entered the basement and turned off the switch. Wang Jinjin was in the basement listening to the sound of Wang Jiangwo opening and closing the door to his study, as well as the sound of his slippers rubbing against the floor. Wang Jinjin looked at his watch and waited for about half an hour before Wang Jiangwo left the study. She bought this watch from the system store for five points. Things in the real world are very cheap in the mall, but things that are not in the real world are very expensive. It's been half a month since awakening her memory. If she hadn't taken the train today and left, she wouldn't have dared to take it out and wear it. If she had worn it early, even if the Wang family ignored her, they would still find it in their daily interactions. It will be difficult to explain by then. It took about half an hour to hear the sound of Wang Jiangwo and his son going out. Wang quickly came out of the basement today, and thankfully, he finally left and never came out again. Wang has to spend points and systems to buy oxygen cylinders today. Is it all because the ancestors of the Wang family didn't consider ventilation when repairing the basement? Or is it that this basement was secretly repaired by our ancestors themselves? I have to say that Wang is now the truth. This basement was really built by our ancestors alone, and it would be great if we could complete it like this. After returning to his own room, Wang raised his wrist and looked at the time. It's already past two o'clock in the afternoon, and there are only five minutes left before three o'clock. I quickly went to the bank to withdraw the money, and then went to the black market to exchange it for US dollars, totaling 10,000 yuan. Now one US dollar can be exchanged for 2.46 Chinese yuan. But the black market will definitely raise prices, so 30,000 renminbi was exchanged for 10,000 US dollars. Thanks to the black market in the provincial capital city, the leaders of the black market also have a way to get US dollars. Otherwise, in a small city, Wang wouldn't be able to exchange so many US dollars today, and there wouldn't even be any US dollars for her to exchange. After coming out of the black market, Wang went straight home today. Chapter 5 Collection System You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Wang arrived home today, it was already 4.30 p.m. She quickly informed the tracking system that they would call her at 5.30 p.m., then covered her with blankets and closed her eyes to rest. She needs to take good care of herself and accumulate energy, after all, she still has a lot to do tonight. At 5.30, the system woke up Wang Jinjin on time. The afterglow of the sunset shone on Wang Jinjin's face. Her eyelashes moved, she turned over, and reached for the watch next to the pillow, holding it up in front of her. She opened her eyes and looked at the watch. Wang woke up slowly today, tidying up and wanting to empty the Wang family, 
but the space was too small to fit these things. I had to regretfully give up. After packing up, it's already six o'clock by now. After leaving the room, she went to a state.owned restaurant to buy some food and put it under the bed in the space. After all, the meals on the train are not cost.effective now, and buying points in the mall is too wasteful. Her points are of great use. After buying something from the state.owned restaurant, she went to the Gu family. Now Wang Jiangwo and his team should have already eaten it. The system reports that Zhao Posey has already made a chicken. Two days ago, Gu Anan, Gu Hongxia's daughter, showed off that they had eaten braised pork belly in brown sauce at school. So Wang Jinjin speculates that the Gu family's meat tickets have run out, and Zhao Posey can only go to the black market to buy meat to entertain Wang Jiangwo. After all, the Gu family's reputation in their area has deteriorated, and their neighbors are afraid of him. Who would lend him meat? Who knows if the Gu family will seize the opportunity to report them after giving him meat. Moreover, Wang Jinjin carefully observed the neighbors of the Gu family and found a lucky one. It's Lu Dazue's family, whose son is a division commander in the army. She disguised herself as a rural daughter. In law and deliberately gave a chicken to Lu Dazue at a low price. Lu Dazue, as the name suggests, loves to eat. So she will definitely eat the chicken immediately, and Zhao Pazi dare not trouble Lu Damao, who has a promising son. Now that Wang has come to the Gu family to verify the results, she pushed open the door and entered the house. See if the Gu family and the Wang family have taken traditional Chinese medicine. Squeezing, accompanied by the sound of the door pushing open, Wang looked inside the door today. As expected, the eldest son of the Gu family and the father and son of Wang Jiangwo fell asleep in all directions. Don't think it's just sleeping, they're poisoned. After seven days of normal life after poisoning, all of these people will become paralyzed. Their future days can now be anticipated by the king. They deserve it, after all, the innocent people they reported and framed are suffering and even losing their lives. The medicine placed on the chicken was bought by Wang Jinjin by spending 100 points on the limited time discount in the mall. This medicine is called Seven Days Paralysis. As the name suggests, people who take the medicine will first think they are drunk and fall asleep. After seven days, you will be completely paralyzed. The modern medical conditions cannot be traced, it will only make people think that drinking is paralyzing. Even with the technology of the 1960s, it would definitely not be possible to detect it. Moreover, even if there are traditional Chinese medicine experts who can detect it, they would not be able to examine and treat the Gu and Wang families. After all, neither of the Gu and Wang families are good people. Wang Jinjin was an orphan in his previous life, also known as Wang Jinjin. Growing up stumbling in an orphanage, I worked hard to get into college to learn English. Then, in order to save money to buy a house, she heard that the makeup artist on the set made money, and then found an opportunity to learn makeup from a makeup artist. Due to Wang Jinjin's fast learning, good skills, and diligence. She quickly accepted the order through the relationship with her teacher. Wang Jin is now taking advantage of the winter and summer vacations to crazily join the group and make money. After graduating from college, I joined a foreign company and took on makeup orders in my free time. One year after graduation, I finally saved up enough down payment to buy a house. I got hit by a car on the way to the bank for a loan. And now Wang has traveled back to the 1950s, losing his memories as he grew up. If it weren't for Wang's brother breaking her head today, she wouldn't have been able to recover the memories of her previous life. Wang Jinjin found the Gu family's study and first took out the introduction letter. He picked up the letter and kissed it, grabbed a pen, and quickly wrote it. He checked and stamped it. Thanks to Gu Hongxia and Wang Jiangwo boasting about her father when they mentioned that the Gu family had a letter of introduction, otherwise she would have risked going to the street to steal it. She may not be able to steal it, after all, she has a bad reputation and there must be someone watching her when she reaches the street. It's better for the Gu family to enter. 
who can stop the stepdaughter from entering her stepmother's house? Wang now proudly shakes his head and head. Wang raised his hand and looked at the time today. We need to hurry up. She started a carpet search, and there was no time to redeem her passbook. It's unbelievable that cash and gold and silver need to be taken away. The chaos didn't last long, and the Gu family had accumulated so much wealth. However, he he everything is cheaper now, my king. Wang Jinjin tidied up the place where she had rummaged in the room again. Then he left without looking back and headed towards the train station. Wait for her to get on the train, after the train starts. She just breathed a sigh of relief. Wang Jinjin doesn't remember hearing anyone say that there are usually several beds left in a sleeper on a train. She took out a hidden bag from the space and pasted it with a weakness charm bought in the mall. Find a flight attendant wearing a watch and leather shoes. Taking a breath, he said, Sister, do you still have a sleeper? Wang Jin seems to have more sweat on his head and his lips have become whiter. Little girl, what's wrong with you? Please sit down and rest. I'll go ask you. Watching the flight attendant's expression loosen, Wang Jinjin put in more effort and handed her two sugar tickets. I'm going to see a relative for medical treatment, sister. You seem so friendly to me, so please help me, he said, the opposite flight attendant has been convinced by Wang Jinjin and quietly glanced at the ticket in his hand, his gaze becoming even more firm. Hurry towards another carriage. I'll be back soon. The little girl's hard bedroom is already full, but there is still a bed in the soft bedroom, which is a bit more expensive. Do you still want to go? Wang Jinjin's expression was conflicted. After a while, he returned and said, I'll go. Sister, thank you. You are so beautiful and kind. hearted. When I settle down, I must write a thank that you letter to you. The flight attendant became even more enthusiastic upon hearing this. After leading Wang Jin to the soft sleeper, he also brought her a pot of water. Others don't have this kind of treatment. Wang spent a day and a night on the train comfortably under the care of the train attendants. The train has arrived in Baoxian. After getting off the train, Wang found a guesthouse to stay in today. I ordered barbecue and vermicelli at a state.owned restaurant. Take out the packaging box and pack some other dishes. Wang Jin is enjoying her food today. In her previous life, she lived in the north. Although she worked in the port city for a year, it feels like she hasn't tasted authentic Cantonese cuisine for a long time. Sure enough, authentic cuisine still needs to be eaten locally. In addition to authentic Anhui beef plate noodles. Ha ha ha. After eating and returning to the guesthouse to write the thank that you letter, Wang rested today. The next morning, Wang got up today and ate a bowl of fresh shrimp wonton noodles, then went to the post office to send a thank that you letter. After sending the letter, she looked at the map purchased from the system mall and went to Shiko. Wang Jin Jin is well aware that being sneaky is more likely to attract suspicion, and on the contrary, walking boldly makes it even more difficult to see anything. So all the way, Wang Jin Jin was wearing the women's military uniform she bought at the system mall, wearing a chairman's badge, and carrying a military water bottle. She didn't make any changes, riding a bicycle that received space from home, walking naturally and confidently on the road. Wang Jinjin's current image is that of a young female cadre riding a bicycle to the countryside for investigation. The middle king took the wrong path today. Washed some time. After arriving at Shiko, it was already noon. From a distance, she could see a row of trees next to the beach. To enter the sea, one must cross the forest to the beach. The patrol soldiers were also keeping a close eye during the day, so she decided to come back at night to check the security situation. Wang avoided people today and found an empty room in a nearby village to live in. There are people fleeing from the port in the nearby villages, and there are quite a few empty houses. After entering the room, Wang Jinjin took out the vegetables he had packed in the restaurant before and had a delicious meal. Then, he cleared a space and placed the bed in the space. 
Wang Jinjin is lying in bed thinking about things. After going to the port city, he needs to first apply for an ID card, then find a safer place to buy a house, and also purchase some daily necessities, clothing, jewelry, and so on thinking about Wang falling asleep today. When she woke up, it was already six o'clock in the evening. After finishing her meal, she put on her pre-prepared camouflage outfit and applied the camouflage paint she had been looking for in the past half month to her face. She then went to Shiko with the moonlight. Wang Jinjin entered the forest next to the beach and took out a mirror to look at her disguise under the moonlight, only to find that her own head was more prominent. So he pulled a few branches and arranged them into a wreath style, putting it on his head. This series of disguises blends Wang Jinjin with the surrounding environment, reducing the risk of being discovered by others. Wang Jinjin is struggling to make his way through the forest with a sickle. The various sounds in the forest at night made Wang feel uneasy today. She bravely continued walking. Finally, I vaguely saw the beach ahead. Wang Jinjin was about to lie down and hide in the bushes to observe their shift time when he suddenly heard a loud shout. Stop, don't move. Chapter 6 Exchange of Hong Kong Dollars You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Oh my goodness. Discovered. Wang Jinjin immediately flashed into space, which was her subconscious reaction. Why doesn't Wang Jin use invisibility symbols now? Ah ah. There are only three invisibility symbols, she needs to use them on the blade. In that extreme few seconds, what Wang Jin was thinking now was that as long as he entered space and was not caught, he would be fine. If I had just discovered that her soldiers couldn't find anyone, I would have thought I was dizzy or laughed at myself for being suspicious. After all, Wang Jinjin's disguise is still very good. In the space, Wang Jinjin saw a scene of soldiers chasing people at the junction of seawater and beach. A group of soldiers chased after a group of ragged people, with those in front running desperately and those behind chasing desperately. While running, he shouted, Stop, don't run. Stop. If you run any further, you'll shoot. The distance of pursuit is getting smaller and smaller, and we are about to catch it. The fleeing person panicked and chose their way, and their heart jumped into the sea. Immediately afterwards, bursts of gunshots came from the air. Huh so it wasn't me who was discovered. Fortunately. The gunshots continued to ring, making people feel uneasy. After a while, Wang Jinjin saw several soldiers walking down to the lookout tower. I don't know how the person who jumped into the sea is doing either. The person who just escaped didn't have that much either. Wang Jin suppressed bad ideas today. Perhaps those people managed to escape. Wang saw that there was no one left today, so he quickly got out of the space. She doesn't have the heart to observe how to change positions. Hurry up and take advantage of the darkness to return to the previous small room. Returning to the room, Wang now calmed down his mood. She doesn't feel like going to the port city anymore. Do you just give up like this? But I can't go back anymore. Both the Wang and Gu families asked her to serve a pot. If she goes back, she will be torn apart by their enemies like the Wang and Gu families. It's better to go to the port city and give it a try, let alone just understand the rules of job changes now. As soon as the remaining invisibility symbols are posted, the electric rowing boat opens. Isn't it easy to get to the port city? Not to mention, if she doesn't go to Hong Kong, her personality will eventually cause trouble in mainland China. She will definitely not be able to endure torture by then, who knows if there will be a third life. Wang has now convinced himself so much. The port city is right across from me. I have to climb to the port city, Wang thought fiercely today. Noticing the host's thoughts, the system was about to think about how to persuade the host to insist on going to the port city and quietly let out a sigh of relief. At the same time, Wang Jinjin also thought of the system and the lucky talisman obtained by harvesting the wool from the system. I originally planned to use this lucky charm when encountering difficulties after going to the port city. 
After all, its validity period is only three days, and then there is a week of bad luck. But now I can't care about that much anymore. As long as you can get to the port city, use the resources you have now. Now is not the time to feel sorry for things. There are only three days, during which Wang must arrive at the port city today and obtain the port city identity. It is best to take advantage of his lucky time to buy a house. According to the regulations of the Hong Kong government, those who cross the border can become true Hong Kong residents as long as they can successfully reach the city center and obtain a Hong Kong city household registration. Only in this way will they not be deported. Three days for illegal immigration, household registration, and exchange of Hong Kong dollars. These are all important. And now Wang only needs to find a hotel to stay for a while, and wait for the unlucky week to pass before looking for a house. Wang Jin Jin is definitely not going to the beach for safety reasons. So she used a point-based bribery system to determine the job change time. After some bargaining, the deal was finally settled with 20 points. Wang Jinjin's points are also urgent. She only has 200 points left. Her points are not worth spending, poison and rowing only cost her half of the points. Poison earns 100 points, electric rowing earns 150 points. When we arrive at the port city, we still need to seize the time to earn points. Fortunately, the items purchased in the system can be stored in the system without taking up any space. Her space couldn't accommodate such a large rowboat, so she could only buy the inflatable rowboat. The inflatable one is not suitable for Wang Jinjin, who is currently running for his life. In no time, the system returned with the news of a job change. Change positions every hour. There are soldiers patrolling on the lookout tower, as well as on the beach. They all have a 10-minute shift between them, and the system also tells Wang that there is a weak defense area today. In these 10 minutes, as long as Wang Jinjin acts carefully and releases the electric rowing boats he collected in his previous life into the sea, she can run to the opposite port city without any dust, as long as she is not detected by the port city patrol. These 20 points are not in vain. Confirm the message, Wang Jinjin asked the system why it brought the message so quickly. The system was showing off in a stinky way, sneaking into the observation deck and seeing the duty watch. And fortunately, we also discovered the weak areas of the inspection. Wang Jinjin saw its attitude of wanting to praise and quickly boasted about its rainbow fart. Wang rested all night in this temporary room today. The next day, the king woke up early this morning to make the final review and preparation for his illegal immigration trip. Finally, it was dark. Wang Jin put on his camouflage and disguised himself, and quickly went to the illegal immigration location provided by the system. After arriving, Wang Jin avoided the patrolling soldiers and entered the space, waiting for a change of post. Wang Jin Jin waited in space for about 45 minutes before seeing the patrolling soldiers leave, and the next team will arrive in another 10 minutes. Wang Jin Jin must quickly go into the sea within these 10 minutes. Wang Jinjin dare not delay putting invisibility and luck talismans on his body, and the rowing boat has also put an invisibility talisman on it. The rowing boat is invisible, but the sound is not invisible. The invisibility symbol only has a two-dot-hour effect, she must seize the time. I saw that the soldiers patrolling were nowhere to be seen. Right now, Wang dared not waste a penny and immediately stepped out of space. Rush towards the beach, backhand drop the rowboat into the sea, push the rowboat into the sea, and then jump onto the rowboat. Wang Jin swiftly launched the rowing boat, taking advantage of the sea breeze and rushing towards the bustling opposite side like an arrow. The sea breeze blew her hair and clothes, and her heart beat strongly with the sound of the waves. She dared not look back, nor did she dare to slow down, rushing forward towards her city of hope. Finally, in the long agony, Wang arrived at the beach of the port city today. The invisibility symbol is also about to expire. She saw a group of soldiers patrolling from afar, but obviously these soldiers were not as conscientious as the soldiers from the mainland. 
Their soldiers were patrolling and laughing at the same time. Wang has never seen soldiers from the mainland like this before. Wang Jin Jin took advantage of their lack of attention and quickly asked the system to retrieve the rowing boat that was about to appear, and then posted an invisibility symbol for himself and left lightly. Clear the invisibility symbol to zero. Wang had no choice but to think about it now. Suddenly, there was a creak. Wang Jin Jin accidentally stepped on a branch. It's very clear in the quiet night. The patrolling soldiers immediately stopped teasing and walked towards Wang Jinjin's side. Chapter 7 Taking ID Photos You are listening at NovelFull.audio Is this lucky charm not a quality issue? The products sold in the host mall have undergone strict inspection, and there must be no problem with the lucky charm. The system quietly refuted. 001 Don't peep into my heart, I've told you so many times. Okay, host. The system agreed decisively. When I accumulate enough upgrade points, I must upgrade and activate the blocking system function. As the patrolling soldiers approached, Wang Jinjin held his breath, afraid that the sound of his breath would attract the soldiers. Rao is Wang now aware that she has posted an invisibility talisman, and they cannot see her. She has also made a cold sweat for herself. During Wang Jinjin's tense moment, a black shadow passed by in the grass near her, and the two glowing light bulbs were very prominent. The soldiers who came from afar clearly found two light bulbs, and they picked up stones on the beach and threw them at it. Meow, the startled voice of the cat came. They muttered to themselves for a while, then confidently headed elsewhere. Wang now breathes a sigh of relief. It turned out to be a false alarm. 001 It seems that this lucky talisman name is not a false legend. It can turn danger into safety in any situation. A product produced in a mall must be a boutique. Should the host buy some more things. You need a means of transportation from here to the city. The system takes advantage of every opportunity to promote products, but it earns commissions. Once you have accumulated enough points, you can buy a new skin. The system laughed happily. But Wang didn't care now. This system is crazy, and Wang has become accustomed to it now. 001, I know if you don't say it, but I've already spent almost all my points. I only have 100 points left. A regular car in the mall costs 150 points, and renting a luxury car costs 120 points. It's not much cheaper than buying a regular car. If only I didn't buy those skincare products. Forget it, the transportation tools in the mall are not something I can afford now. The host can sell the rowboat on a second dot hand platform, and you can sell it at a 20% discount for sure. Then the points sold and the remaining points will add up to 180 points. You can rent a car first, and the remaining points can also be used to buy clothing that looks like a seam. Is there a possibility that my current level is not enough to open a second dot hand platform? Upon hearing this, the system felt guilty and dared not speak. Hurry up and make amends. Host, don't lose heart. I can help you ask in the second dot hand group of the system. Don't worry, the electric rowing boats are selling cheap and will definitely be sold soon. You just need to pay the system's five point service fee, host. I just know that without benefits, 001 wouldn't take the initiative to ask for help. Five points is too much, I can buy a watch now. It's two points cheaper. We are friends and family. I'm in a difficult situation now, so please help me. I accept your kindness. Host, I have also put in some effort. I will buy skins and save enough money. Four points cannot be cheaper. I will save enough money to buy skins and cannot compromise. Wang is thinking while walking. 001 How much money do you still need to buy skin for? There are still 180 points left, and the skin sells 188 points, but I have already accumulated 8 points. The small system proudly said. You just saved up a little bit, is that enough to save up? 
don't be too outrageous about the small system. I have taken care of your skin, so don't charge me any service fees. It's much easier for me to earn points than you do. When will you have to save enough? Not to mention that you don't earn a salary like us humans do. Even if you can earn faith points, you still have to pay 90%. I really sympathize with you Wang paused for a moment now to give the system time to think. In this way, I will buy you a new skin every year based on your income situation in the future. I don't need you to do anything else, just let me know if there are any promotional activities in the system mall. You can also tell me useful information, and I will give you a bonus based on the situation. Also, don't call me the host anymore. It's too difficult, just call me today. I'll give you a name too, hoping you'll have endless points and faith points in the future. How about calling yourself Fate Wealth? Wang Jinjin Jin plans to bring the system over for her use, both as a drawing cake and playing emotional cards. The small system was knocked unconscious by the real pancake drawn by Wang Jinjin. Jin. Today, I know you treat me the best. It's a great idea to get rich. Don't worry, for the sake of our friendship and family, I will definitely help you better. If you climb to the top in the future, we can buy the cross realm pearl to break the shackles and cross the world. We can always be together. The system also disregards the need for professionalism and simply exposes its true nature. Wang Jin Jin is very excited to hear that he can still travel through countless realms. Isn't this an alternative form of immortality? Let's work together to get rich and strive to reach the top. Follow me, don't you know my abilities? I will definitely make you a legend in the system world feed another big cake to the system. The system is flooded with legends from the system world. Now, I'll quickly sell the rowing boat. Wait for me for a while. At this moment, I'm full of enthusiasm for getting rich. Wang feels like he will be back soon after getting rich. She didn't even walk 100 meters. Today, I sold it. I sold 88 points. It's 8 points more than what I used to sell. I knew you were the best in the system when I made a fortune. Look, you sold 8 extra points. I must reward you well, and I will reward you with all the extra 8 points. Don't worry, after I settle down, I will enter the system to study and work hard to earn points. It's estimated that you can save enough points to buy skins in just one week. As long as you save enough points, I will buy skins for you. Thank you, today and today, I will definitely help you well. Getting rich immediately shows loyalty. I know getting rich will definitely get better. Get rich, go rest first. I need to quickly get rid of my clothes and transportation tools, and then settle down in the port city. Okay, today now after feeling that the existence of wealth had weakened, Wang Jinjin immediately rented out the Aston Martin DB5 that he was optimistic about. The license plate was fixed and the driver's license was also available, with a lease term of two months. The service of the system mall is so considerate. Aston Martin is a British car company that is also very famous in later generations. This car was produced between 1963 and 1965 and is the most famous car in Aston Martin's history, with a production volume of less than 1,000 units. The production is low and it is a luxury car. Renting it has a high cost performance ratio and is also suitable for decoration. Wang Jin Jin spent 30 points in the mall again to buy a classic branded style. A well cut white dress, a set of white underwear, nude high heels, and a classic black crocodile leather bag. Find another set of jewelry from the space. Then Wang Jin Jin used the cosmetics he bought in the mall to put on a plain water makeup for himself. After putting on the makeup, Wang Jin Jin was full of luxury. Wang has transformed into a fashionable homecoming lady. She got her driver's license in her previous life and has been driving for three years, so it's not a problem for her to drive. Wang Jin Jin tidied up in the car and drove rapidly on the road. The scenery on both sides of the road quickly swept past the windows. Chapter 8 Household Registration You are listening at novelfull.audio
Wang Jinjin is currently in Yuan Long, New Territories, which can be said to be a suburb of Hong Kong City. There is relatively little development and there is still a lot of farmland. But the road construction can rival that of later generations, and street lights have been installed on both sides of the road. It is already late at night and they are still on, not extinguished. The houses in the distance are self-built by farmers, mostly three-story small buildings. In terms of rural areas in the suburbs, it looks similar to Shashu. It seems that the economic development of Hong Kong City is very good. Now is the time when Hong Kong media is active. Writing novels in Hong Kong City, as long as the setting is novel and the writing style is good, one can definitely make money. Isn't this belief value easy to grasp? Wang Jin worked in a foreign company in his past life and was once sent to work in Hong Kong for a year. Therefore, she is very familiar with the streets and alleys of the port city. Not to mention, the port city of the 1960s was already very developed, not much different from the pattern of later generations. Wang feels very familiar with this place today. She traveled with ease and familiarity all the way, waiting for her to pass through the tunnel in the suburbs, which meant finally reaching the city center. She is considered safe only when she arrives here. According to regulations, illegal immigrants who arrive in the city cannot be expelled or repatriated. No one can send her back to the mainland now. Now, the biggest hidden danger has been solved. Wang now relaxes and slows down to enjoy the harbor city half a century ago. Kowloon is one of the core areas of Hong Kong City, filled with high dot-rise buildings. There are more people and less land in Hong Kong, so they try to build buildings as high as possible. Wang Jinjin even took advantage of the red light and saw a building far higher than other buildings. She leisurely counted the 26 floors. The roads on the street are not as wide as in later times, with shops on both sides selling a variety of things. In order to attract customers as much as possible, the signs of the shops extended into the mid-air of the street. From a distance, they looked densely packed, and it was impossible to see what was written clearly. Only by getting closer can they see it clearly. The pedestrians walking on the street also dress similarly to later generations and are more modern. There are people wearing sportswear, as well as those wearing suits and leather shoes they have a very good mental outlook, some of whom are even a bit overweight. This is something that Wang Jinjin cannot see in Sha Shu today. People in Sha Shu are walking in a hurry and their faces are tense. It is currently working hours, and most of the pedestrians on the road are hurrying through the streets and alleys, disappearing into buildings and streets. After more than half a month, Wang finally felt the modern atmosphere and atmosphere of life again. This is the city she wants to live in and the life she wants. Instead of living timidly on the mainland, there are many things to be cautious about when speaking. There are more cars on the streets in the city, unlike in the suburbs, where Wang Jin didn't see any cars on the way. Pedestrians on the road all paid attention to this luxury car, their eyes filled with envy and longing. Although they may not know this luxury car, their appearance shows that it is worth a lot. The cars in front and behind dare not approach Wang Jinjin. People who have cars these days have knowledge and won't fail to recognize luxury cars. There are not many people in Hong Kong who can afford luxury cars nowadays, let alone in British colonies where British car brands still have a strong presence, let alone Aston Martin, which has a global production capacity of less than 1,000 vehicles. Wherever Wang Jinjin's car goes, it is a beautiful scenery. This car has good performance, fuel consumption is also acceptable, and it has been modified by the system store. Wang is driving it very smoothly today. She has planned to work hard to earn points in the next two months and strive to acquire this car before the lease term expires. After all, she also needs a means of transportation. You can also give a 15% discount on buying this car. The mall is also very good at doing business. As long as you are satisfied with the rented products, if you plan to buy new products, the mall will offer a 95% discount on the same product and a 70% refund on rent. If you buy this car after the discount, 
you can earn 8,000 points. One Jean was driving all the way, paying attention to the shops on both sides of the street. While waiting for the red light, she saw a currency exchange shop. After the red light passed, Wang Jin Jin drove to the entrance of the store and took out $2,000 that had been exchanged on the black market from the space and put them in his bag. Wang had just parked the car, and the salesperson noticed the commotion. Seeing that it was a luxury car, he greeted it with great enthusiasm. Wang Jin Jin opened the car door and got off the car. The salesperson who greeted him saw a wealthy young lady in the car, and his attitude became even more hospitable. The clerk greeted with a smile on his face and said kindly, Miss, do you need anything? I plan to exchange some Hong Kong dollars for US dollars. Do you have this service in your store, said Wang Jinjin with a reserved nod. Wang Jinjin also knows how to ask, but as a consumer, the most obvious characteristic is knowing how to ask. Consumers always like to ask questions knowingly to ensure the accuracy of information when making purchases. As a free trade port, Gangcheng is also an international financial center. The US dollar became the world's main settlement currency after World War II, and can be exchanged for Hong Kong dollars at any exchange shop in Hong Kong. As expected, the shop assistant immediately replied, Of course we have this business. May I know the lady's surname? How much would you like to exchange? My surname is Wang, and I want to exchange 2,000 US dollars. As Wang Jinjin's words fell, she and the staff also arrived at the store. After listening to it, the salesperson couldn't help but secretly exclaim in his heart, how rich he is. If only I had 2,000 dollars. The shop assistant led Wang Jinjin to the counter while thinking. Miss Wang, please take a seat. After Wang sat down today, the clerk also sat at the counter. He poured a cup of tea for Wang Jinjin and placed it next to him. Miss Wang, today's exchange rate between US dollars and Hong Kong dollars is January 5th, 52. Don't worry, although it's a bit more expensive than the official bank exchange rate here, the price is absolutely fair. We won't let you suffer a loss. Wang Jinjin listened to the salesperson's candid words, and besides, she doesn't have a household registration now, so going to the bank is also a bit guilty. When applying for household registration later, she also had to bribe the police. She has an urgent need for Hong Kong dollars. She also nodded decisively in agreement. Sure, let's exchange at this exchange rate. The shop assistant saw Wang nodded in agreement today, and he quickly dialed the abacus and quickly count the Hong Kong dollars and hand them to Wang Jinjin, who is drinking tea, from the counter. Miss Wang, please take it. This is 11,040 Hong Kong dollars. Please take a look. Wang took over the Hong Kong dollars today and quickly counted them. After confirming the accuracy, put the Hong Kong dollar into the bag. No problem, it's 11,040 Hong Kong dollars. I'll leave first. Miss Wang, please be careful and welcome to visit next time. The salesperson smiled and said goodbye to Wang Jinjin. I muttered to myself that even wealthy people are so calculating, why bother counting again? Wang, who has been walking far away, is unaware of the shop assistant's murmuring. If she knew, she would probably say that even the money of wealthy people is money. Besides, Wang Jinjin also managed to get rich overnight by holding the small vaults of the Wang and Gu families, okay. She is still a petty citizen in her previous life. Chapter 9 Buying a House You are listening at NovelFull.audio According to Wang Jinjin's decision to illegally immigrate to the port city, he obtained information about the port city in the 1960s from Fatsai. The over 10,000 Hong Kong dollars she exchanged are enough for her to buy a house of over 100 square meters in the best part of the city center. In the 1960s, the purchasing power of over 10,000 yuan in Hong Kong was still very strong. Wang drove on for a while now and only then did she realize that she had not taken any identification photos yet. No photo studios were found on both sides of the street to take ID photos. 
Is there a photo studio near me to get rich? Today, I suggest you go to the nearby police station to take photos. The photographer is very skilled, and the shop owner knows the police officer who handles household registration. If you give him some benefits, he will introduce you to the police officer who handles household registration. That police officer is not too greedy, he is less than other police officers. Anyway, it's time to spend money to alleviate the disaster, but if you can, spend less. Okay, I'll go to the photo studio next to the police station to take ID photos. It's not bad to make a fortune, but it will also save the host money. That's right, after today's guidance, I am no longer the same person as before. I want to learn the excellent character of loving wealth today. Please call me new Hulu Wealth in the future. It seems that Fatsai is also a hardcore fan of empresses in the palace. Look at what makes it proud, Wang has not even seen it today. Wang doesn't plan to pay attention to getting rich now, he's a bit crazy now. A legendary figure in the world of systems. It's all due to her strong brainwashing ability. Proud face. Wang Jin drove quickly to the police station located in the city center. At this time, the police station in Hong Kong City, like the police stations in later towns, was also responsible for handling household registration. Moreover, the police station in Hong Kong has considerable authority, and obtaining identity cards for individuals illegally crossing the border is one of its services. After parking the car, Wang Jin walked to the entrance of the photo studio next to the police station. This photo studio is very small, only about 20 square meters, but being able to open a photo studio next to the police station in the city center can be said to have some means and connections. Entering the store, looking around, there was no feeling of chaos inside. Although there were many things, they were very tidy. There is only one photographer in the front desk with a suspected owner in the store. If we say it's suspected, it's because the big gold ring worn at the front desk and the obese physique gave Wang Jinjin the opportunity to doubt. The photographer is taking identification photos for a stowaway who came to apply for an ID card. Besides, there is only one customer in the store, Wang Jinjin. How did Wang Jinjin recognize the woman being photographed as a stowaway? She was one of the people Wang Jinjin saw jumping into the sea after being chased by officers and soldiers on the beach. Unexpectedly, she was lucky enough to come to the port city and luckily enter the city center. Just as Wang was observing the store today, the front desk saw a customer coming to their door. This customer is still wearing this year's latest model. Wearing gold jewelry like her, but Wang Jinjin's gold jewelry is noticeably more exquisite in workmanship. The chubby woman quickly welcomed her and warmly greeted her, Miss, what photos do you want to take? Can I take a photo of my ID card immediately? The chubby woman said awkwardly, this. It's not that fast, it takes two days. The photos for two days will cost two Hong Kong dollars. Of course, if you're in a hurry, you can add the money. This will get you immediately. If you add the money, it will cost 20 Hong Kong dollars. Just add more money, I'm in a hurry. Wang waved nonchalantly and handed the money to the chubby woman. During the conversation between Wang Jinjin and the chubby woman, the photographer had already taken photos for the previous guest. Tell me to get the photos in two days. The woman nodded at the front desk and paid before leaving. When she left, she curiously glanced at Wang Jinjin, who was dressed in fashionable clothes. Wang didn't care now either. After the chubby woman collected her money, she saw the photographer available and instructed him, Afa, this is Miss Wang. She needs to take a photo of her ID card. You need to take a good photo and make Miss Wang look thin and beautiful. Understood, store manager. The photographer playfully saluted. Miss Wang, don't worry, Afa is my son. Don't be fooled by his youth, but his skills are well dot known in this field. I have been operating a photography studio here for seven or eight years, and our photography skills are well known. It turned out to be a family business. 
Wang Jinji nodded and smiled at the chubby woman. Alpha's efficiency is very high, and he finished taking photos in no time. Hurry up and go to the darkroom to wash. Wang Jinjin took advantage of his free time to inquire with the boss about obtaining an ID card. Boss, I heard from a friend that you also know a police officer who needs to apply for an ID card. I just came from the mainland and need to apply for an ID card. I don't like to wait for things to happen. Can you help me introduce myself? It's not like it's from the mainland. It seems that it is still illegal to cross the border. It seems to be a descendant of a large family. The owner of the photo studio realized the truth when he thought about it. It is impossible for a descendant of a big family to dress so well even if they have just illegally crossed the border in Hong Kong. In the 1960s, the civil servants in Hong Kong were notorious for corruption, with the police force being the most severe. Wang Jinjin gave the chubby woman a Hong Kong dollar bill with a face value of 10 yuan. The chubby woman took the money and smiled, Miss Wang, don't worry. The police officer who applied for the ID card is my nephew, and I will personally lead you to find a how later. He must have done it for you quickly and well. You only need to give him 20 yuan for hard work. If someone else comes to him alone, he will charge 40 yuan. I'll rely on my boss for a while, Wang said with a smile the chubby woman waved her hand arrogantly. Miss Wang went in and told Ah Hao that it was me who introduced you. He saw the packaging in the photo and knew that you were the one I introduced. There were only two police officers who applied for household registration, a middle-aged police officer and a young police officer, and the young one was Ah Hao. Alpha quickly came out of the darkroom and handed a paper bag to Wang Jinjin. Wang Jinjin took out a photo and took a look at it. In the photo, he had beautiful eyes and was photographed beautifully. Wang nodded today, it seems that Kai Kai and the boss are not wrong. Alpha's photography skills are very good. Next, she arrived at the police station. There is actually a front desk in the police station, and there is still a chubby woman at the front desk. This receptionist noticed Wang Jinjin's attire and guessed her identity. Miss, can I help you with anything? Wang Jinjin calmly replied, I just arrived in Hong Kong from the mainland, and now I want to apply for an ID card. Where can I apply? The front desk has a wide range of knowledge, and it seems that Wang Jin, who came from mainland China today, is still dressed so well. His every move and gesture is completely like that of a young lady. She wasn't too surprised either. The police station has seen a lot of things, and Wang Jinjin's behavior seems to be that the descendants of the big family have fled. After all, she heard that the capitalists and wealthy families on the mainland are not doing well now. After listening to Wang Jinjin's question, she politely replied, Miss, the second room on your left is where you can apply for your ID card. Chapter 10. Moving to a new home. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Wang arrived at the household registration room today, where two police officers were working, a middle-aged police officer, and a young one about the same age as Afa. This young person should be the boss's nephew Ah Hao. After entering today, Wang knocked on the table. Politely say, a uh, sir, I need to apply for an ID card. Could you please help me with it? Upon hearing this, Ah Hao lifted his head with a nonchalant expression. Wang Jinjin calmly took out a thin piece of paper from his coat pocket and quietly slipped it into Ah Hao's hand. Afterwards, she calmly sat down. Ah Hao is no stranger to this matter and quickly accepted it. Reaching under the table, I quickly glanced at a small stack of 20 Hong Kong dollars. It seems that it was introduced by my aunt. Wang showed him the paper bag containing the photos today, and Ah Hao confirmed that she was introduced by the owner of the photo studio. Ah Hao suddenly felt like a spring breeze, Miss, what's your name? How old are you this year? Wang now knows that in the 1960s, it was impossible for the police to handle things for you in Hong Kong without paying. This corrupt situation needs to be improved after the establishment of the Independent Commission Against Corruption. 
Wang Jinjin smiled and said, I am 17 years old this year. As for my name, my name is Wang Jinjin. Wang is the king of Wang Shiji, and I am today's Jin. As she spoke, she showed Ah how the prepared note with her name written on it. The simplified and traditional Chinese characters of Wang Jinjin are written in the same way, so there is no need to worry about making mistakes. When Wang Jin worked in Hong Kong City in his previous life, he heard from his local colleagues that the police in the past were very irresponsible and often wrote people's names incorrectly. Ah Hao took Wang Jinjin's note, looked at her name, and spoke calmly, at the age of 17, I need to apply for an adult ID card. Please wait a moment. Ah Hao took out a card from the drawer under the table and said to Wang Jinjin, the adult ID card processing fee is 5 yuan, please pay. After hearing this, Wang quickly handed over his identification photos and 5 yuan to Ah Hao. Ah Hao lowered his head to write a message on the card suddenly stopped and looked up to ask Wang Jinjin, when is your date of birth? February 20, 1951. He filled in the date, put the card into a machine, and then asked Wang Jinjin to use his left thumb to press his fingerprint on the machine. The current ID card is based on the 1960 rubber-faced ID card, which contains a photo of the holder and a fingerprint of the left thumb on the front, and the holder's name and other personal information on the back. It wasn't until 1973 that there were changes to the style of the adhesive ID card, including changing the arrangement of the text, deleting the finger template, and adding the place of birth. After Ah Hao took out the card, Wang Jinjin's fingerprint was printed on it. Immediately after, Ah Hao took out a small transparent film, clamped the card inside the film, and put it into another machine to glue the card. The card that came out of the machine was tightly glued to the film, and Ah Hao handed the packaged ID card to Wang Jinjin. This is a pink ID card, about the same size as future ID cards. On the front is a black and white ID photo of Wang Jinjin, and next to it is a fingerprint of her left thumb. The black seal is stamped on the bottom right corner of the ID card. Her other information is on the back. Holding this hard dot earned ID card, Wang Jinjin felt extremely excited and overwhelmed. Having this ID card means that Wang Jinjin has completely bid farewell to her status as a capitalist lady in mainland China, and from then on, she will become a Hong Kong native. Now she can be completely relieved and doesn't have to worry about becoming a gangster and being deported. You should know that although the current port city is similar to later generations, there are also some differences. For example, the barrier policy that was only implemented in 1974 in the previous life was implemented in the current port city in 1960. People who illegally enter the country will be refused entry and deported if caught at the border. But for those who successfully cross the border to the city center, the government will give them the identity of residents of the port city, but it is also stipulated that they should obtain their ID card within 10 days, otherwise they will become black households. If they become black households, their personal safety cannot be guaranteed, and they may even be caught and sent back to the border as cross-border individuals. Wang Jinjin was extremely happy and immediately put his ID card in his pocket, actually putting it in the space. After finishing it, she left the police station, and from beginning to end, the middle. Aged police officer sat next to her without making any sound. Obviously, this kind of receiving benefits has become commonplace for them. As a vested interest, Wang Jinjin has no intention of defending against their corruption and corruption. She still has to thank them for collecting money to handle matters. Otherwise, if the process drags down, she may not be able to apply for this ID card immediately. Wang is driving on the road today, and there is a smell of foam Yujing on the car. She is now tired and hungry relying solely on Feng Yujing to refresh herself. She urgently needs a bowl of noodles to fill her stomach and a big bed to sleep on. She drove to the Peninsula Hotel located at 22, Salisbury Road, Sim Sha Sui, Kowloon, facing Victoria Harbor with a sea view in the middle and upper floors. There are also underground shopping malls, mostly branded stores. Although she worked in Hong Kong for a year in her past life, 
she was busy saving up money to buy a house and didn't even want to experience the luxury of Peninsula Hotel. Now it's okay, although time and space have regressed by half a century, Wang Jinjin has been upgraded to a wealthy woman. With money and leisure, she can experience everything she didn't experience in her previous life. Driving to the hotel entrance, the sharp-eyed parking assistant ran over, intending to help her park the car. Wang Jinjin also generously gave him the car keys and took out a wallet from his bag, drawing a 10 Hong Kong dollars tip from it to give to the parking assistant. The parking assistant took the tip with a smile on his face and kindly drove away. It truly deserves to be the most luxurious hotel in Asia, even the parking guy looks so handsome. Wang Jinjin entered the hall with emotion. As soon as she entered, a dedicated person walked over and saw the concierge written on the work badge. She walked up to Wang Jinjin and bowed to her first, then smiled and said, Madam, may I ask if there is anything I can do for you? Wang Jinjin looked at the luxurious decoration of the hall while the ninja yawned and said, I want to open a suite with a sea view. Okay, it's my pleasure to serve you. On your end, please. The concierge led her to the front desk. Then Wang now moved to a sea view suite located on the 19th floor, priced at 150 Hong Kong dollars per day. Wang Jinjin held his room card and took the elevator to the 19th floor. She excitedly brushed open the room with the words, 1997, written on it, and Wang still secretly sighed in his heart, what a coincidence. Hong Kong City returned in 1997 in its past life. Wang Jin couldn't help but suspect that fate had arranged for her to obtain this 1997 room card in the future. Everything is the best arrangement. After entering the room, she was once again amazed by the luxury of capitalists. In the luxurious hotels of the 1960s, the living conditions of ordinary families in later generations were even more advanced than those in later generations. In this suite, you can see and feel the shadow of modern life everywhere, including skincare products and cosmetics on the bathtub, shower, toilet, and sink. Bathing products are also a major brand in France. No matter which era, those who live comfortably and enjoy will always be those who have money and status.